Eminem explains why he dissed Snoop Dogg on his new album, on Shade 45, and talks about Rihanna and the song that leaked and stuff. So yeah, let's do this. We'll keep it locked. Happy New Year. Eminem is in control of Shade 45. Hey man, Gray Rizzy up here with Eminem right now on Shade 45. Music to be murdered by Side B. The deluxe edition is out there right now. This song that you have is uh, creating a lot of talking. Zeus. The first part uh, with you apologizing to Rihanna um, for a, a, a leaked verse that got out. You know, I thought it, it said a lot about you as a man, and you've been you've been on the record about the friendship that you have with Rihanna. But this made it onto the project. Uh, why the apology now? Well, it was pretty recently that, that that verse had leaked. And honest to God, I told Paulus when it first when it first happened, I was like, first I didn't know how how somebody got it. Second of all, I I have no zero recollection of even remembering doing that that verse. Like the the rhyme schemes didn't even sound like familiar Wait. to me. So, so okay. First of all, he he didn't he doesn't even know how it got leaked or who got it. He doesn't even remember doing it? Okay, that's, that's tough. I was caught off guard too. I was like, what the fuck? I said that? And that was, you know, that was during early like stages of uh, the relapse record that I was working on. So, you know, it was 10 plus years old, but I'm not making excuses for it. I, I, I said it and I was wrong for saying that. It was fucking stupid. Yeah, so it was like, he said it was 10 plus years old. So he, that's probably why he didn't remember. Uh, saying anything in it. You know, a lot of times, especially with, with the relapse record, when I first started learning how to rap again because of the drug situation that I went through and having to relearn a lot of things, that was one of those things that it was like, well, if it rhymes, say it. I think that being able to look back, I mean, that's not even an, an excuse, but I'm just saying like, that there was a phase I was going through with that relapse record. I don't know, it's one of those things I think I just said it because it rhymed and I think, I'm sure looking back now, I, I, I should have thought better of it. You know, it was one of those things that, like I said, I don't even remember recording, but record a lot of songs. So it was like, it's it's tough sometimes to even you'd be like, oh shit, I remember that. You know, I, but I know a lot of people are very, they're very happy and, and proud that they, they got to hear that part from me. You know, that, that apology on, on Zeus. There's also a, uh, a reference where, not even a reference where, you know, you, you're, you're talking about or speaking to Snoop in the sense of, you know, he, he, Okay, so he's about to talk about how he dissed Snoop Dogg on that song, where he said he doesn't need Snoop Dogging him or something, and yeah, he basically, he basically dissed Snoop Dogg, and he's about to tell us why. Um, maybe it's because of the interview, like, a couple months ago, where Snoop was just being straight up disrespectful to Eminem. I don't know. You don't need to be dogged by him. And I, I didn't know exactly when or where, what did Snoop do that made you put this line in this song? Well, a couple of months ago, you know, he was doing an interview with The Breakfast Club. Somehow yeah, my- It is the interview where he said like, well, first of all, I mean, I wasn't even in his top 10. And well, then, and then something happens. Okay, we'll, we'll just keep playing it. And got brought up and he was saying things about, you know, I'm not in his top 10 and, Everything he said, by the way, was fine, like up to a point, you know, when he like, like, A, I've never said like him saying that that he, I'm not in his top 10 because there's some rappers from the 90s that I can't fuck with. I, you know, A, a him saying Dre made the best version of me. Absolutely. Like, why would I have a problem with that? Like, if it, would I be here without Dre? Fuck no. I wouldn't. The rappers you mentioned from the 90s, KRS One, Big Daddy Kane, G Rap, like I've never said I could fuck with them. I never said that. You know what I'm saying? So it's all like everything was good until like hit, you know, it was more like I think it was more about the tone he was using that caught me off guard because I'm like, yo, where is this coming from? I just saw you. Like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Like it just it threw me for a loop. Again, I probably Yeah, he's Soup Dog is associated with Eminem because of the camp stuff. Like you already know, but yeah, he he said something at the end. Um, that's probably what he's about to talk about, and that was just pretty disrespectful. So could have got past the whole tone and everything, but it was the last statement when he said, as "Far as music I can live without, I can live without that shit." Now you're just yeah. He said that. He said that. So why would he say that? Like literally, like there's no. He he never said anything about him or like anything and he just randomly says that 
even though they were associated and you know now you're being disrespectful for like it just caught me off guard i wasn't ready for that and people started hitting me up about it like oh what are you gonna do what are you gonna do and, and i didn't know what to do about it at first because i just it, it 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 confused me because i'm like yo bro same team we're on the same team like what the fuck and i that is true that, that is that is like the whole point that this is like con it's so confusing how it's like that. I've never in my career, my entire career, ever said a disrespectful word about Snoop Dogg. Facts. I mean, what the fuck? Like his impact on hip hop, like I can't, I can't front on that. But it's like, at what point does it start becoming like, okay, now you're, you know, everyone's entitled to their opinion. My top 10, top five ain't gonna be the same as his, but everyone's entitled to their opinion. So how could I be mad at that? I wasn't mad about the opinion. It was after that, it was, you know, that the very last statement was like, oh, what the fuck? Mm -hmm. Like, damn dog, like really? But you know, I said what I said, I addressed it. I felt like what, what I said what I needed to say. And I'm not saying the true size, but it definitely is, uh... It's a song that's going to be talked about for a minute, man. This is Zeus, music to be murdered by Side B, the deluxe edition. Eminem's with us. Shade 45. Okay. So, um, yeah, I don't know why Snoop Dogg would do that. Uh, so, I mean, I'm, I'm glad that Eminem dissed him because he kind of deserves it. Because he said that for no reason. But, um, yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed the video and bye.